Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. Now you'll notice a slightly different background today and that is because I am filming a tag video and it is the book shuffle tag which is one you can't really prepare for. So I've had to sit in close proximity to my book so I can reach, off and reach up and grab them from the shelves when I need to. So I was tagged to do this by Jay, her channel's called JL Todd, I'll link that down below. So basically the idea of this tag is you put your whatever you use to listen to music, um, iTunes or Spotify or whatnot, you put that on shuffle and then you pick a book that matches whatever song plays. So I'm going to give it a go. Now I'm going to use my iTunes account. I have 11,600 songs on my iTunes. So this could be interesting. That's a lot to choose from. Um, I used to study music. So my undergraduate degree was in music. So there's quite a lot of classical music on there. Um, some really random jazz music and early blues as well. Um, I also... Uh, regularly play in the music group in my church so I've got quite a lot of like churchy songs on there and I grew up in the Christian music subculture so there may be some very random music on here. I also have parents with very eclectic tastes in music as well so who knows what's going to come up so this could be fun. I will also say I'm not very good at the whole speeding up and singing along thing that some of you do really well so what I'll probably do is um, try and find music videos for all of the songs that I'll mention and I'll link them in the description so you can check them out rather than risking infringing copyright and whatnot. So anyway, um, I'm not sure how many I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to see how long it takes um, and let's give it a go. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm going to do, where's the shuffle button? Okay, so I decided I'm just going to go with my instincts and pick the first book that comes to mind that kind of links to the theme of the song. So the first song is called Breathe On Me by a singer-songwriter called Jennifer Knapp. Um, the theme of the song is sort of about being saved, being rescued and sort of focusing on that saviour figure, um, breathing life back into you. So the book that came to mind, I'm just going to have to stand up and get it because it's right on the top shelf. Um, so I've gone for Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Um, because, uh, what's her name? What's the character called? Zelly. <laughs> because Zelly in this book is trying to save her people from, from an oppressive regime that have outlawed magic and killed a lot of people, including her mother, and so she's trying to bring freedom to her people and restore magic. So, to me, that sort of theme of salvation, of the saviour figure rising up and trying to breathe life back into uh, a tortured people. Okay, what's next? Okay, so the problem with having over 11,000 songs on your computer is that you're not always familiar with the songs that then come up when you put it on shuffle. So the second song is called uh, Where the Blues Were Born in New Orleans, which is by Louis Armstrong, which is a song that I don't think I've listened to since I studied jazz music in uni. So <laughs> just really based on the title and type of music, I'm going for this book over here, which is called Blue Like Jazz by Donald Miller. So. I think this has been made into a film in the last couple of years, a sort of a fictionalised version of this. This is non-fiction. This is Donald Miller's account of... Um, it's been a while since I've read it. It's sort of when he sort of had to try and work out what he believed in for himself and trying to work out the difference between the Christianity he talked about in some churches and the church he grew up in, which didn't feel very real to him, and learning... Um, meeting different people and their experiences of faith. I think I've got that right. It's, as I say, it's been a while since I've read it and I've basically just picked it for this because of the title. <laughs> so let's see what comes up next because this is going really well so far. I'll never 
Okay, so the next song is one called Goodbye by a singer called Liz Wright. And um, this is sort of a jazz, she's jazz soul type singer. It's re she's really talented, I saw her live once and she is amazing. Um, so the song is about losing someone that you love. It's sort of all tied up, loss and grief. And there are a couple of books that I thought of for this one, but um, the one I'm gonna go for is a book this year that made me cry a lot. And that is The White City by Roma Tan. So I mentioned this one before on the channel, I think it is about a not too distant future where London has been frozen for a number of years. Well, in, in extreme climate change, we have a second ice age. And as the snow starts to melt, the ice starts to melt, the central character Hera um, is thinking back on when the when the frost came and the man that she loved and what happened to her family at that time. She's of Asian descent, living in London, um, and it's sort of all tied up in fears around terrorism and whatnot. And um, it was a really really powerful book, particularly the reveal of what hap has happened to some of the people that she cared about. And yeah, as I say, it made me cry a lot in work. And it has this whole theme of love and loss. So yeah, really good book. Okay, so the next song was called Automatic Imperfection by a group called Marlango. Um, it's a really lovely song. Um, I, it's not one I know really well, but it's got this lovely melancholy vibe to it. So really based on that feeling, the book that it made me think of was one that I don't actually own a copy of, um, so I'll stick a picture up. And that is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. The sort of vibe I get from the song is someone watching the world through the window and not really wanting to engage in it and that's the, the essence of the story of Ellen Oliphant. She's, um, she says everything's fine and she puts out this front to the world um, but there's all sorts of other stuff going on and that book was really beautiful and I just sort of, it's got a similar feeling to the song so yeah so that's, that's the one we're going for for that. Right, next song. There are sometimes problems with having really eclectic tastes and music. Tastes and music. So, uh, right. So the next song is called "Precious Pal" by M People. Again, this is a song that I do not know really very well. It's from an album, and I picked up the album quite cheap because I like some of their songs. But anyway, so the song is about not being sure if the person really cares about you and wanting them to make you believe that. They really do care about you and yeah, so the book I'm going for to link in with that is Oops, well it's stuck. The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. I've talked about this a few times, I think, in the past. Um and sort of the the central theme of this story is that she feels very alone and she doesn't want to be alone anymore. Um this character called Romy. She's the only survivor on a ship heading off to colonise a new planet and then she finds out another ship is coming to meet them and the crew member on the ship that's coming to meet her seems to meet every wish she's ever had for a partner, someone to fall in love with and she's she's a teenager, she's uh, 14 I think so she's very caught up in the romance of the idea that this could be her perfect person coming to meet her um, and she wants to believe that it's very real and but nothing is quite what it seems so let's go for that one what's next okay this is a really tricky one and um, the song is dear diary by travis it's again quite a melancholy one <laughs> actually i know what one will work for this i'm going for killing hapless alley by anna volt um i mentioned this in my september wrap up i think so the song is about not understanding what's wrong with yourself and feeling at odds with the world a little bit and this book is about, it's sort of semi-autobiographical, I, I believe it's based on Anna Volt's own experience of mental illness um, and in the book she has a lot of imaginary friends who are famous people that she 
imagines giving her pep talks and that sort of thing in her head. And to me, that's quite similar to the the song where he's writing in his diary, trying to figure out what's what's wrong with him and why he seems to be so different from everyone else. So we'll go for that one. Let's do a few more. Okay, let's do it. It happened on one of them zippity doo dah days. It is the truth. It's actual. Right, so the next song was the famous Disney song, Zippity Doodah, because I like Disney and I have a lot of their songs. So to me that, it's about happiness, isn't it? It's about having a wonderful time and everything being just nice and warm and lovely. And so I really want to pick for this a book that just has such good vibes. So. We're going for another childhood favourite. Along with Disney, I also really love Paddington Bear. So we'll go for the first one, A Bear Called Paddington. Just the Paddington Bear stories are just so wonderful and magical and <laughs> lovely and just have such feel-good vibes. So if you ever want cheering up, read the Paddington books. And so it's so much better than the, the new films. Don't don't bother with the new films. Just read, read the books or watch the old TV series. Um, which is just wonderful and adorable. So, yeah, feel good book, Paddington Bear. A bear called Paddington, I should say. This is going to be so much fun to edit later. Okay, so the next song is called He's My Son by an American singer-songwriter called Mark Schultz. This is a really beautiful song um, about the way a parent suffers when their child suffers. So the theme of the song is a child is really sick and the parent is praying that that child would be healed. Um, so in terms of that theme of parents doing whatever they think they can to try and help their children, I'm gonna go for My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Pickolt. It's been a really long time since I've read this, um, but I remember the story quite well, it's about a girl who is essentially born um, her parents wanted to have her so that she could be uh, a donor for her sister who is sick and it's about her fight to try and get the right to her own body essentially from her parents I don't feel like I've explained that very well um, I remember it being a really powerful book and it just does have that similar theme to the song of what lengths would a parent be willing to go to to try and help their child who is sick um, so yeah let's go for that one okay I forgot to mention I really love really random music <laughs> So I used to study French as well, and I really love listening to music in other languages. So the last song is a song called Maman by Christophe May, who is a French singer-songwriter. And it's a song about his mum and about how much he loves his mum, which is really sweet. Um, and so the book that I am going to pick to go with this one is on the top shelf again, so bear with. This is a book called If You Look For Me, I Am Not Here. By, I'm gonna probably pronounce this wrong so I apologise, Sarayu Srivatsa. So this was at a Ninja Book Club pick a couple of months ago and we all loved it. It is um, just beautifully written. Um, it's about a little boy who, he was one of a twin. So Malika, the mother, she, she gives birth to a boy and a girl, twins. Um, the girl dies um, so in an effort to try and win his mother's love the little boy pretends to be his sister for her his sister who died and she becomes like a bit of an imaginary friend to him and he grows up very confused about his identity who he's meant to be because he's trying to win his mother's love by being a daughter for her but he's also trying to win his father's love by being the son that his father so desperately wanted. It's set in India and it's just, oh, it's just so beautiful and the questions of gender and identity and all sorts of things. So this is a really good book. And yeah, so that is it. That was 10 books, wasn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was only nine. I'm gonna do one more. Good and that's where 
Okay, so the last song then, the actual last song this time, is It's All Understood by Jack Johnson, which is about what is reported on, what we believe, what we understand, difference between fact and fiction. So I was struggling with this one for a little bit, um, but I decided to go for something maybe a little bit left field, but I think it fits. So I'm going for this book, which is Our Man in Havana by Graham Greene. And just the, really for the line of um, fact and fiction work as a team, which came out in that song. This is a really fun book about a spy in Cuba. So this book was written in the 50s and I think sort of set around that sort of time, it's set in Cuba and the main character accidentally becomes a spy. Um, he's actually a vacuum salesman so he has to start creating this false information that he feeds back to the people he spies for and um, for the government and um, for example one of the things he does is he uses the plan for um, a vacuum machine a new model that he's trying to sell and he he says that it's the, um, the plan of some uh, military base or weapon I can't quite remember off the top of my head but it's really really funny really cleverly written um, so yeah the idea of fact and fiction and what do we believe and everyone who he works with who he's buying for really believes all the stuff he's telling them so it's very very funny right so that is definitely the end that is 10 books I'll as I say I'll link all the songs in the description so you can listen to them for yourselves hopefully you'll find some that you enjoy oh and I've got to tag some people so I'm going to tag three people who have recently subscribed to my channel um, at time of filming so hopefully you'll enjoy doing this tag I think it's quite fun so we have Tatiana from Little Book Fool, C. Tina from C. Tina Loves to Read and Jade from JD Ray Reads so I hope you enjoy making this tag and if you want to have a go at it and I haven't tagged you then feel free to give it a try and you can say I tagged you um it was a lot of fun to do so um yeah that's all from me for today thank you so much for watching um hopefully you've heard about some books that you might enjoy and some music you might enjoy um so chat to me down in the comments if you have read any of these books or like any of the music I've talked about let's have a conversation and subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!